we're going to have a look at one more graph story and use it to remind ourselves of some features of graphs. This is a graph that shows the height above a certain base level of tides in a lagoon over a 24 hour period. In other words, you've got this body of water and the water, the level of water either rises or drops depending on the time of the day. We need to decide what our independent variable and what our dependent variable are. Now I've just said the height depends on the time of the day. And so obviously our independent variable is the time and our dependent variable will be the height. Some things we might want to have a look at with this graph is let's look at the first little while of the graph. Do you notice that in that first little while of the graph, as the time goes on, so the height is going up. And we talk about a graph like that as increasing. And in the real terms, what will that mean? It'll mean in that first period, what is happening is the height of the water is rising all the time. So if you were asked, where is this graph increasing? You can see that it's between zero and 12. You know, it, we're looking at the times between zero and 12 that the graph is increasing, that the tide is rising. Over here, you can see that as the time goes on, so the height is dropping. And there we call that decreasing. That's a, the decreasing portion of the graph. Um, and where is, if you were asked, where is this graph decreasing? Again, you could write it as an interval saying between 12 and 24, the graph is decreasing. What does that mean in real terms? What we're talking about is from between time 12 and time 24, the tide is dropping in the lagoon. We might also be interested in this, the highest point that we can see on the graph. We call that highest point the maximum point. And in this case, the maximum point has the time value of 12 and the height value of 5. And what does that mean? Well, we can say in words, at 12 hours, the tide is at its highest level, and that is 5 meters above the base level. Obviously, we might well also be interested in the lowest point. And in fact, if you look down here, there are two places where we're at the lowest point. And the lowest point is called the minimum. And the coordinates of the minima in this case, 0, negative 5, and the other one, 24, negative 5. And we could put that into words. Let's talk about that second minimum. That would say... At 24 hours, the tide is at its lowest level, and that is 5 meters below the base level. One last thing we want to have a look at. This graph is called a continuous graph. And that is because there aren't any gaps in this graph. For every single point in time between 0 and 24, we have got information in this graph about what the height of that water level is. So there aren't any gaps. This is a continuous graph and we can see it's a continuous graph because it's been joined, because it's been drawn with a curve. The contrast would be something like this, which is a discrete graph. This is something we looked at earlier, the number of hours spent studying for a test versus the mark out of 100 for a test. And we had each individual learner plotted. This is a discrete graph made up of a whole lot of separate points. OK, so that finishes our little look at the height of tides in a lagoon, but in particular, a reminder of some of the types of features of graphs we might want to look at.